pull off, start with a spray full. This? Yes. Excellent. Now, spike sole is a type of pasta. And so what we're going to do with, we're going to start with some flour. This is a really yummy pasta. It's interesting because it's different from an Italian pasta because this will be soft like a brownie batter and get ripped in to hot boiling salt water. So it's a very different texture. So we're going to add about four eggs. We also need Nutmeg. This is going to be only an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Yes, there it is. That's all right. Don't need much. So he's going to start stirring this up. Butter and salt. Um, and salt, yes. Butter, not yet. He wants to start mixing this together, and what he's going to do is he's going to start adding butter to it as he's mixing it. And he's also going to add milk. So, here we go. Very good. Do you see it in the reflector? Yes? Yes. You want to make sure he pops all the oats. And then he's going to. some butter chips to it. Instead of dumping the whole thing, he's going to add it gradually so it will blend much easier. <laughs> Luckily, despite our cold weather, it's a little softened from earlier today. Earlier today, we had rock brick hard butter, which provided to be difficult at our 1230. And what else is he going to add? He's going to add some milk to this, about a cup of milk. is a, a, a batter very similar to like a brownie batter because what we have is we have a colander that has very large holes in it and as the water is boiling we're going to add at two spoons at a time the batter <coughs> drip through the colander and right into the hot water and it's going to cook very quickly and then we're going to pull that off excellent a bay leaf should go in the cabbage as well but we want to make sure that we pull that off because it's a choking hazard if we don't Get all the butter. Get all the butter. <laughs> Risa, how's Hi. that water? Uh, it is simmering. Excellent. Let me turn up the fire. All right, you turn up the fire. We're going to turn up the heat a little bit. We're going to do something what we call ashing. She's, instead of using a bellows, which many of you perhaps would think that we would use, what happens when you use a bellows when you push the air out, it works great, but when you pull it back like this, it sucks air out. Works great in an oven, works terrible on our stove, so we actually use a fan so it's constant air right into it. And that will increase the oxygen, which increases the heat. Yes, you can do that with a barbecue as well. How's that better? Are we ready? Alright, so do we have the colander? Excellent. Reese is going to be kind enough and hold that. And all of us going to take the batter and bring it back over there. <laughs> you saucy girl. Showing her underwear like that. 